Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys another Iron Man related loot video. This is going to be loot from 3000 Zombie Pirates. Zombie Pirates are encountered during the quests Rum Deal and also the Great Brain Robbery and you can find them on Harmony Island which is also associated with Brain Death Island. And these Zombie Pirates are aggressive in both of these locations but once you complete the quest, the Great Brain Robbery, um, zombie pirates will cease to be aggressive on Harmony Island, which is where we were killing them for this video. Released into the game October 31st, 2005, and of course being members only, these are 57 combat, so pretty high level. I think this is actually the highest level pirate in the game. And as you can see, even starting from the very top of the ship all the way north on the island, you can find these zombie pirates lurking around in a lot of different locations. I would say the best location to find them would no doubt be just about 10 steps south of the ship. This is near the plantations and just a lot of the grass in general, and most of them just kind of hang around here. Looks like a scene out of The Walking Dead, you know, back when that show was at its peak. And the max hit from these zombie pirates is only a 6, so I wasn't really bringing that much food for this video. I mean, I was rocking full obsidian, so they weren't hitting me too often. But occasionally, I would just bring one anglerfish, and that would be good enough for me. Um, on average, I'd say every single inventory was probably roughly 100 to 150 kills, and then I would just bank. A lot of different banking locations here. I mean, it's very easy to bank if you just want the simple way. I would say just go all the way south and transport yourself back by using the teleport from the monk here. And then there's a bank on Harmony Island and then you can just simply run south and teleport back and then you'll be right back here at the zombie pirates. I wasn't doing this banking method in the very beginning. I was just simply using uh, Ring of Dueling teleporting to any bank nearby and then using my master scroll book teleporting back to most harmless and banking that way but that's a big waste of scrolls there's no need to do that uh, there's also another way where you can teleport using your minigame teleport to trouble brewing a little bit longer of a run to reach back to this location from there but I did show that method on screen in a few minutes uh, you will see that so a couple different ways to get here but overall I'm sure most of us have been here before so jumping back a little into the zombie pirates themselves you know these are actually the only monster in the game that regularly drop the bandanas and the eye patches that uh, some of you may have seen around RuneScape through the years. According to the wiki, the average zombie pirate kill is worth just about 742 GP. So I guess after we kill 3,000 of these, we will see just how accurate that is. The combat stats for these zombie pirates is just 40 to 50 base. So any level can kill them, I'd say over level 30 or 40. And believe it or not, you can kill these as a slayer assignment because if you do get assigned uh, zombies, you can kill these zombie pirates because they're in the same category. That can only be assigned by Chaildar and Terrell, so, you know, not the most popular Slayer Masters. And the way we were tracking the kills for this video was, uh, of course, using Runelite the whole time, but since I was doing a lot of things IRL, this video was actually broken up throughout two weeks or so, even though it really only took, like, two days to do. I was kind of just working on this one on and off, so although the Runelite loot tracker did have everything and um, almost accounted everything, the main way I was tracking the kills was through the Bone Crusher, 3 thousand charges was the start, zero of course being the end. And as you can see at the very bottom of the inventory, a herb sack and gym bag was being brought along every single trip because uh, they really do drop a lot of herbs, these zombie pirates. Gems, not so much, but you might as well bring that just in case you have it. The drop table on these zombie pirates, no doubt, is interesting. I wouldn't really say it's good or impressive, but it's definitely interesting. Really does stand out compared to other monsters in this game. So according to the wiki, if you kill the zombie pirates on Brain Death Island, which I believe this would be during the quest. Uh, you're able to get steel scimitars, iron daggers, uh, bronze bolts. But if you kill the ones that are on Harmony Island, which is the ones that I was killing, uh, those drops are essentially upgraded, almost doubled. You know, the steel scimitar becomes a mithril scimitar, the iron dagger becomes a mithril dagger, and the bronze bolts become steel bolts. So on one island, you have very low tier drops, and then on the next island, they're pretty much buffed. I mean, they're still pretty low tier, but they're a 
little bit better. Um, I do find that pretty interesting. I didn't really notice that until now as I'm reading this, um, that, you know, there are two different drop tables for two different islands. And here's a shout out to my maxed Ultimate Iron Man friend who told me that you can actually put in Harmony Island teleport in your player own house to reach this location much faster. They also drop runes. Uh, I would imagine that the runes are doubled on Harmony Island versus Brain Death as well. And those runes being air, cosmic, body, water, and chaos. Um, as you can see at the very bottom of the inventory, those laws, the chaos, and the waters were always kept. I never banked those, I think, until the very end. I did on accident once. As well as keeping the coins alongside the runes at the very bottom. Uh, those were kind of just the things that stayed there the whole time, and although the coin drops are pretty regular here, I didn't actually use a ring of wealth this time. Looking back, I probably should have because the drops are actually a little bit delayed before they show up for you to pick up, so I probably spent a lot of unnecessary time just picking up a lot of individual coin drops, but Berserker Ring I just kind of went with to get this uh, video done a little faster. When you're doing the quest and you decide to kill these zombie pirates, they also have a drop that's called the Karim Thulu, or I think it's called the Haram Full who, and that's one in 42. This is a squid like species that is uh, dropped during the rum deal quest. After the quest, though, you can't get this as a drop, so I wasn't seeing that this whole time. Another untradeable drop is uh, Brain Death Rum. This is one in 128, and although I did pick up every single rum bottle that I did see on the ground, big fan of it, uh, it is virtually useless. Whether you're an Iron Man account or a main, uh, I don't think you can do anything with it. Obviously, can't sell it, so can't really do much. Now, the rarest thing that you can actually get from this zombie pirate, as well as any zombie in the game, would be the zombie champion scroll. This is 1 in 5,000. Uh, clearly, it was a goal for this video. I've actually never had a zombie champion scroll on any of my accounts across all of them. So that would have been cool if we did get that. Uh, so we will see maybe towards the end if we get lucky. There's also another untradeable drop here that's called the Rusty Skimitar. And this is 1 in 128. Now, what's unique about this is that we can actually gamble with these rusty scimitars, which we will do after the price check. We can take them to an NPC in Port Cahazard and pay 100 GP with every single rusty scimitar exchange, and we have the opportunity to get a random scimitar, so we will be doing that. I think it's actually pronounced scimitar, but you know, force of habit after all these years. It's kind of a little bit of a bonus, you know, like I said, the drop table does stand out from other things in this game, and that rusty scimitar as well as the squid pieces. On top of just the regular weird value drops uh, really does make this monster unique, at least I would say in this series. There was a point during this video uh, that I actually got one of the rarest drops that I've ever had in this loot series. I always mention these, uh, you know, shield left half drops and these dragon spear drops, you know, those uncommon ones. And usually I'm always wearing a ring of wealth. So although they are rare to receive, you know, using that ring of wealth really does make that drop more common and not as impressive. But since I wasn't wearing a ring of wealth for this video, uh, the dragon spear drop that I did get was considered, and again, this is according to the wiki, to be 1 in 699,051 from a zombie pirate. And had I been wearing a ring of wealth, it would have been 1 in 41,000. So if that is actually true, then that is incredible to see such a high number. Even though I clearly don't need any more dragon spears on this account, uh, it's still nice to see. So as we are coming to a close here, uh, I will say that I have been live streaming on Twitch. Most of this was actually done on Twitch. I won't lie, it was probably the most boring live stream I've ever done. People really didn't enjoy seeing these uh, zombie pirates, you know. Certainly not the most entertaining thing to kill, but nevertheless, if you guys want to check out the live streams, the link is in the description below. I've been trying to update the uh, description of all of my YouTube videos to kind of point you guys to more links that I'm trying to uh, advertise a little more. And as this coming month is starting, I am going to try to be active on Twitch the whole entire time. Really want to get more involved, you know, I kind of was a ghost for a few years, so I'm trying to, uh, I don't know, get more involved in the community. So if any of you are interested in that, uh, feel free to check out the description. But needless to say, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, loot from 3,000 zombie pirates has been completed. It is time to do the price check, see all of the value that you can get from these zombie pirates. Are these quests worth doing? Is this island worth checking out? We are about to find that out right here, right now. Overall loot from 3,000 zombie pirates does come out to be a whopping 1.1 million 
course, that is rounded up. As you can see, not many gems at all. Uh, 116 red bandanas, 72 blue ones, 169 laws, 133 chaos runes, 43k cash, and a lot of rum, which I will certainly be drinking after this video. But uh, overall, you can't really trade the rum, so the only really thing left to do is trade in the rusty scimitars with 2k coins and 20 scimitars by our side. We are now going to go to the NPC in Port Cahazard. His name is the Tendel Merchant, and we are going to hand him all of our scimitars, see what we can get from this. Uh, but overall, the herbs themselves, you know, most of that price check was the Renar herbs, and that's really useful, you know, all that's going to be translated into prayer potions, and uh, really no prayer potions was used for this video, just a couple supersets here and there. So overall, even though you're not going to be making much money uh, from these zombie pirates, even if you are a main, I imagine the pirate bandanas don't sell for much. Maybe they do, I don't know, you know, I kind of have them on my Iron Man, so I don't think I can find out, but hey, I guess I'll have a nice uh, bandana collection, and now I even have a lot of iron iron, bronze, and even a few steel scimitars to go along with that. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I think this video took roughly like 15 hours to complete. Uh, it was really fun. It was different, you know. Needless to say, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in a few days with loot from 1,000 Steel Dragons. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.